I hope you're having an awesome day. I sure am. Thanks for joining us. Before we get started, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications. See you soon. Bye. Well, good morning. Today we're spending the day at the Petrified Forest National Park. In this more than 200,000 acre park, you'll discover one of the world's largest concentrations of petrified wood, plus rocky cliffs and animal fossils. More than 200 million years ago, flourishing trees and vegetation covered much of this area of northeastern Arizona, but volcanic lava destroyed the forest and the remains were embedded into sediment comprised of volcanic ash and water. Erosion set the logs free millions of years later, revealing the petrified wood, made mostly of quartz, that Arizona visitors gathered to see. There's more than wood to the petrified forest history. You can see remnants of more than 13,000 years of human history at the park, including Perco Pueblo, a nearly 800-year-old, 100-room dwelling, a diverse extensive collection of prehistoric pottery fossils, and even a protected section of historic Route 66. The park provides access to many outdoor activities, and the best way to enjoy and experience it is on foot. To make the most of your time here, you'll want to incorporate several activities into your visit. Several popular in-park activities include hiking, horseback riding, and biking. Don't forget to also leave time for checking out some of the park's historical exhibits, such as those found in the Rainbow Forest Museum and the Painted Desert Inn National Historical Landmark. Massive logs of petrified wood strewn endlessly across the landscape is what brings people to the Petrified Forest National Park. Don't forget to also leave time for checking out some of the park's historical exhibits, such as those found in the Rainbow Forest Museum and the Painted Desert Inn National Historical Landmark. This was a great place to learn more about the Petrified Forest National Park from informative displays and helpful employees. Highlights include full-size skeletal displays of prehistoric animals, petrified wood, and a well-stocked gift shop. The original building was constructed in 1931 when there wasn't as much to display as there is now. They've done well with the amount of space they have, including a 1950s edition and some more recent renovations to the displays. Immediately out the back of the museum is the Giant Logs Trail. If you only have a small amount of time to give to the Petrified Forest National Park, the Rainbow Forest Room and the Giant Logs Trail is where you want to start. And don't forget to stop by and watch the short film about the area. Well, time's getting short, and we gotta go, so we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and remember to hit the bell for notifications. See you on the next one. Bye.